Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours... Riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Hey, Ben. Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> Who's the guy 
the drove over my car. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rock wheelers. The old man says it's the polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Orville, here we come! I'm not putting my lips on that. Take that. Nah, he can flatten his own boxes. I can't see any use for those. Open up.
I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Yeah, right. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Got no home to hang it in. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang took off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I wanna know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. You gonna order something? No. No. Yeah, right. Play. It's hard enough to play with your fingers. I'm not putting my lips on that. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Take that. that. I've touched it enough.
That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. I'd never catch up to them on foot. It's screwed shut. I prefer doors anyway. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. You gonna order something? No. Can't. Gotta ride. No. I've touched it enough. I've touched it enough. I can't see any use for those. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. Some joker took my keys. Some joker took my keys. I'm not putting my lips on that. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters.
Got no home to hang it in. I don't have anything. I don't, I don't have anything. Nothing to grab, it's empty. That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. I've touched it enough. Some joker took my keys. It's screwed shut. I prefer doors anyway. You gonna order something? No. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, 
someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole, Kent? I'd better get moving. hit the road, we own it! Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens! Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty! Let's get down! Like to make you just something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Corey's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. 
Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. The polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. Whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Mo. Yeah, Ben? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. I'll wait till she's done. I'll wait till she's done. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Thanks for the lift. 
Now I got a quote for you. Bars. Oh, hey, I hear you already. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy noob. Oh boy, I love the <laughs> Hey, I hear you already. I got a guy coming to look at my art. So I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Wouldn't look good on my bike. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Steel bars in the glass. Steel bars in the glass. I think he's had enough. No. No.
Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. It's locked. I couldn't break that lock. I don't walk. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Break that lock. A hose won't help here. Break that lock.
Stay still, still and we will, will not, not shoot, shoot you. I get to say fire before you do that, Floyd. Sorry, boss. I got excited. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many uses. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. A gas can won't help here. A hose won't help here. A hose won't help here. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here.
Mo. Yeah, Ben? How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need anything. A gas can won't help here. A lockpick won't help there. I think he's had enough. Not putting my lips on that. <laughs> That's not one of Meat's many uses. Can't reach it. I'm not putting my lips on that. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. A 
A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. They'd just fall apart. They'd just fall apart. They'd just fall apart. I'm not putting my lips on that. A gas can. A hose won't help here. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Get to it from here. I'm not putting my lips on that. Can't get to it from here. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help. A hose won't help here. I'm not putting my lips on that.
I don't walk. I think he's had enough. I don't walk. I don't, I don't walk. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. That's not one of Meat's many uses. That's not one of Meat's many uses. 
A gas can won't. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. <laughs> I'm not putting my lips on that. No. putting my lips on that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't walk. Not on foot. They just fall apart. That's not one of Meat's many uses. That's not one of Meat's many uses.
wouldn't look good on my bike. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Can't get up there. A gas can won't help here. A hose won't help here. A lockpick won't help there. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. I'm not putting my lips on that. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Can't get up there. I don't collect art, and I also don't- I'd rather just get out of here. I'd rather just get out of here. I don't want to start a fight with that thing. Kick the little tin doggy, maybe later. I'm not putting my lips on that. I think he's had enough. Mm-hmm.
Mo. Yeah, Ben? How's it look? Aren't you paying attention? We need new forks and a little gas. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Not on foot. I don't walk. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd.
A gas can won't help here. I'm not putting my lips on that. A lockpick won't help there. I'd rather just get out of here. I'm not putting my lips on that. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. That's not one of Meat's many. A hose won't help here. A lockpick won't help there. Not a bad version, really. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Can't get up there. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. This view defines true beauty.
Looks like a cabinet to me. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. There's uh, some sort of shop down there. Smells like burning metal down there. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Heavy looking. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah, I knocked him out. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. The top of this fence is electrified. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Probably all that's holding this dump up. No. 
This view defines true beauty. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Ouch. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Not a bad version, really. I nominate that as least offensive of show. I nominate that as least offensive of show. Can't get up there. That's not one of Meat's many uses. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Not on foot.